There's always been a space that has been largely left alone in my house since I've moved into it. It was described by my husband and I as the catch-all room, where there was just a multitude of crazy items like our amiibo collection and a knockoff Pokemon blanket my husband got years ago. Isn't this like your favorite blanket in the entire house? No. But for the past year, I've been slowly planning on redecorating this media room or game room into a space to play games and movies, as well as being a room that still looks very stylish and has its own personality. When my husband and I moved in together, we only had a few furniture pieces in our home, so that meant a large majority of our money in the first year went to buying furniture for our living room, dining room, primary bedroom, guest room, and to the studio. Really, we had to wait for wealth to accumulate before tackling another room. And so the game room just became like this really big eyesore of the house. It had no style, it was just a blah space that hadn't been fully thought out. So while I was doing other projects, I also was redesigning this space. Every time I did, I redid it again and again, which is very unlike me. We had big plans to buy a new sofa and a new media cabinet and plenty of other things, but due to the money we had spent on furniture in our home, we decided it was safer to just work with the media cabinet and the sofa we already had. And lastly was just what style we wanted to go for. My home has a general main theme of blue, gray, white, and gold in each room, but each room has its own different vibe to it. My pink room has some gold in it, and the studio has stark white contrasting with a very black wall. For the game room, it went through several cycles of designs, but eventually we figured out that we wanted natural elements in this room with a modern twist. Those natural elements being a natural tone wood that matches the wood flooring in my home, and marble, which I personally like to incorporate everywhere. Once we agreed on the style, that's when we had to pull out the most exciting thing in the the world, and that's spreadsheets. And with no set budget, except for spending as little as possible, seeing it in a spreadsheet form was more beneficial for keeping us focused and up to date on our expenditures. So after the spreadsheet was finished, that's when we started spending on the items we agreed on. Places like Target and Ikea were our top priority, but I wanted to try something new. A friend of ours mentioned that he got some furniture from this website called article, which sells furniture that is more modern or more of a Scandinavian kind of naturalist style. I really love the simple clean lines in the wooden furniture that was more of a natural wood style that we were looking for. But other than that, this is where the planning part of the video ends and where the reveal begins. This is the game room. From the worst room in the house, that housed random assortments of junk around our home, to a cool hangout spot away from the main living areas of the house, I have to say that this has to be my favorite makeover so far. I feel like I say that all the time, but now I really, truly believe it. The game room looks so mature yet so laid back and is just an amazing spot to relax after a long day of work. It's cozy, but also stylish bright and natural, yet moody and dark. It's the best of both worlds, and honestly, exactly what I wanted. Planning this room took a long amount of time, but once we really jumped into it, everything started to pile up so fast. So let's start with what we did first, which is to replace the doors on the Ikea Besta that I've had forever. At first glance, you wouldn't even think that this was the same TV stand as the last one. The Besta thing. <laughs> The best thing about the Vesta is that the doors can be changed according to your style. So if you're like me and your original doors were pink and you want something more neutral, you can definitely do that without much effort at all. I think though the worst part of that was the fact that the Ikea, or at least the Ikea in my area, is having major supply chain issues. So sometimes you'll show up wanting a certain piece that says it's in stock, but later you find out it's completely sold out and won't be available for weeks, and you just wasted a 40 minute drive to get there. That sucks. The original door designs I wanted were sold out, 
But this style, which I can't pronounce, but I'll put it in the caption here, was a good substitute with its natural wood tones and modern design. So if you're going to go to Ikea for some furniture or anything else, keep that in mind. The next task we did was to paint the singular wall a navy blue, but this particular navy is a bit different. This shade is named Mysterious. I genuinely believe in my heart of hearts that this one was perfect. And for once, being decisive worked in my favor. The paint color almost changes shades throughout the day, like sometimes it appears black, other times it appears gray, but most of the time it's navy. So it really lives to the mysterious name. Once it was done, it really did make the room already feel so much better, giving a moodier tone to an otherwise bland room. After that, we focused on creating a mini battle station for our game room with our new and amazingly high-tech PC. This was more under Jimmy's control since I tend to accidentally destroy every electronic I touch, so the dual monitors, the wiring of the computer to the monitors, and the LED lights are all him. But the standing desk is the highlight of this PC area, with this amazing butcher block countertop and a pair of cheap standing desk legs from Amazon. The butcher block countertop was something that we got from Lowe's and I ended up sawing it to the correct length to getting it to fit into this cozy corner, as well as applying a polyurethane coating to the wood. I chose this particular mat seal with Jimmy's help and we actually did this part by ourselves and it was pretty easy. It just takes a long time to do. You're literally watching paint dry. So if you're going to do the same, don't try to rush it in one day. It's going to take a couple of days to get what you really want. Then there was also this amazing bookshelf that we got from Article and the IKEA Scottish pegboards that act as our storage in this room. The Scottish is actually an amazing storage piece that can house anything you want, crafting materials, office supplies, and in this case, it holds our cables and electronic accessories like controllers, mice, and keyboards. But like the best up, sometimes IKEA doesn't have certain things like the storage cups and the hooks for the Scottis, so keep that in mind. As for the bookshelf, oh my god, just gorgeous. That's all I can say. It's sturdy, and this is something that only I would mention, but it smells like a wood shop or the lumber section of Home Depot. That's a compliment. I love that smell. It's also pretty simple to put together. It just needs to be screwed into the wall once you screw the shelves in. But once it's up, it looks so nice and it holds all my items together so beautifully. It holds our gaming consoles, turning them more into decorative pieces rather than having them cluttered on the TV stand. But that wasn't our only article purchase. I also got this amazingly gorgeous marble clock, which I swear has veins the same color as my mysterious wall, which for the purposes of this video is intentional. And we got this beautiful marble coffee table with natural wood legs. It's small, but it really does suit the space well and definitely makes it easier to walk around in than the ottoman that used to occupy the majority of the room. Honestly, all of the article pieces were amazing and I highly recommend them. And everywhere else, I have some smaller accessories that I'll talk about for just a bit. On the wall behind the sectional, we actually have two travel vintage posters that we got from Redbubble. When it came to accessories, I went a little too crazy at my target. This cute mini Connect 4 game, this adorable wooden camera, and this stylish Jenga set. They're all made of wood and have that natural vibe I was searching for that fits perfectly into this aesthetic. And of course, a few fake plants scattered around the room are also from Target. Why fake plants? Easy. I can't be trusted with real plants because I'd probably starve them and be arrested by the plant CPS. <laughs> I will say that while the majority of the game room is finished, there are a few hiccups and unfinished sections that didn't get quite completed. First, there's this Besta storage cabinet that has no door. Why is that? Because we were actually going to get a mini fridge and stuff it in there. However, the Besta doors that match the ones on the TV stand were sold out and we couldn't get that or the mini fridge in time. And lastly, I really wish we could have had a chance to upgrade the furniture, such as like the office chair, the sectional, and the TV stand. I think our Besta works well and the sectional serves its purpose, but I honestly wanted to upgrade everything in here. So if given the chance again, I'd love to budget for those two pieces next time. Well, actually three. 
I could go over every little detail in this room, but I believe I gave a good overview of everything and the process of creating it. This was like so much fun to create and I love hanging out with Jimmy and my dog in here. In the game room, it feels loungy. Like I can just unwind and stretch myself out on the sofa playing some video games on my PS5 or go to the desk and play some on the PC. This is a space to clear our heads and to just chat with friends. And I'm glad that I don't have to look at it in annoyance anymore. I look forward going in there after dinner and living my best life, snuggling in the softest blanket I can find, and just taking a break from all the stress and trials life can throw at us. Anyways, what did you all think of this room makeover? Is it something you'd want to replicate in your own house? Or would you want something completely different? Is there a room in your home that you could just redo? If so, what is it? Leave those answers in the comment section down below, and please remember to like and subscribe if you want to continue seeing an amateur like me make over rooms. Until then, I'll see you designers next time. Bye for now.